All right, glory to God, brethren. This is a little impromptu video, but I was barely scrolling through Instagram. Just barely. <laughs> and this showed up in my news feed. Now, this guy right here, what up, RG? He is signed with Reach Records. He's a little protege of Lecrae and the crew. A little weirdo. You know, nothing serious. You can't even take this kid serious. I mean, let's just be honest. You can't even take this kid serious. I'm going to show why. Oh, look at this. Now already over 8,000 views now. This is a video he took of me, a, a brief small snippet of me at the uh, Winter Jam last night. And he's basically mocking me. And you can see with the comments that I'm going to show and the comments from his followers, which is typical. You know, that's that's typical of the uh, Reach Records crew, Lecrae, Andy. They're all a bunch of, everything's a joke to them. They mock and they scoff. And we see in the Word of God what happens to mockers and scoffers. So let's just play this right quick if we, if we can. All right. So this is the clip. But well, see, anything goes, anything goes in this Christian, uh, uh, this Christian faith in America today. And notice he's got a tattoo on his neck that says holy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> anything goes. I mean, that, that's perfect. I mean, he, he couldn't have took a better clip of me saying anything goes in this Christian America today. And it's true. So... So here, here's some of the comments. Here we got Galvi, Galvi, whatever the heck his name is. He's with Reach Records. Get him. And we got what up, RG. This is his comment. He's talking about this guy was protesting Christian rap. No, it's called preaching, buddy. But see, that's the funny thing. These guys from Reach Records, and, and really pretty much anybody who follows them for the most part, I would say the vast majority, not all, but the vast majority who follow them, they wouldn't know what preaching is. You see, they sit under a feminine kind of preaching. They sit under preaching that lets you feel good in your sin. They don't sit under preaching that preaches against wickedness, that preaches holiness, that preaches that you must repent and be born again. You know, that when you're born again, you, you stand out from the world. This, this little green hair looking like you're the Joker, that's not standing out from the world. Let, let's just put it like that. Being invited to Winter Jam, yeah, that's not standing out from the world. Let's see, what, what we got going on here? Now, see, this guy, I mean, to a degree, this guy's right. He said, what, it, what about it, though? Because CHH has spiraled out of control. It has. Oh, look at that. Look who's in the comments. That's right. It's called preaching, not protesting. That's right. Mr. Sword of Truth has that correct. It's called preaching, not protesting. You took one... I mean, it, you know, people talk about, oh, people taking sound bites. That was a sound bite. I mean, you didn't even play everything in the whole context of what I'm talking about. What up, RG? Now, did you? You're not being honest, sir. You're being very, very dishonest. But, you know, I expect that from people who are with Reach Records. Lecrae is a liar. He's a deceiver. He's wicked as hell. But he comes off so saintly. It's all right. Lecrae has his time coming. He's been warned to repent. He's been warned. If Lecrae was to die right now, he would go straight to hell. As would probably the vast majority of the people signed to his label. They would go straight to hell. No way. That's so corny. I mean. You know, it's sad. It's sad, you know, friends. It's really sad that people actually follow after these characters. I mean, it really is. To me, it's really sad because... They don't care about sound doctrine. And see, that's what I was out there preaching about. I was preaching about the lukewarmness. What up, RG? Raul, if that's your name. I was preaching against the lukewarmness. I was preaching against that anything goes in the Christian church anymore. 
that today, Sunday, all across America, what are churches going to be doing? They're going to be partaking in their one of their most holiest festivals of the year. That's the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, and just just like you and your buddy, you know, Lecrae. He's Lecrae loves he's Falcons, you know, Hawks. You know, Lecrae loves it. You know, he's loved by the world. Even though Jesus said that when you're my disciple, you're not going to be loved by the world. The world's going to hate you. But the world loves Lecrae. The world loves Reach Records. You know, again, like I was out there preaching, Raul. You know, that's why Lecrae can be invited to the Rock Nation, right? No, I don't believe I don't believe I can look Lecrae up because Lecrae probably liked this and commented on it too. But see, Lecrae has me blocked because Lecrae hates the truth. I called Lecrae out for not repenting of being a Kappa Alpha Psi member, bowing down at the altar of Apollo to become a member and still an active member. He blocked me because I called him out for not repenting for that. But that's that's typical. That's typical of these people. I've got one K few commenting about it. LOL, this brings me joy, bro. This person, you handled it well. Handled what well? I Honestly, I didn't even notice this green little freak out there. I really didn't. I was too busy actually preaching to worry about this little punk. You need to sample that. Yeah, this one says, looking like one of them BTS boy band crew. Yeah, exactly, he does. He looks like he could fit right in with that sodomite, effeminate BTS, that K-pop music. I literally want to pinch your cheeks. That's so weird. These people are so weird, man. This, this, is, this is the kind of Christianity we have today. Look at this guy. I believe this is the same man I saw outside of Passion 2020 protesting Lecrae. I wasn't protesting Lecrae. I was preaching the truth about Lecrae. And as many of you can see on my YouTube channel, I have a four-hour documentary proving without a shadow of a doubt that Lecrae is wicked as hell. That Lecrae is a Freemason. That Lecrae needs to repent if he hasn't already been given over to a reprobate mind, Lecrae is a deceiver. He's deceived. He's a de he's he's deceiving and he's deceived, friends. My issue with this guy is that he's trying to point out all of these wrongs about their about other Christians and not actually preaching the gospel. Oh really? Oh really? Actually, if you go watch the video, I do preach the gospel, buddy. He says, I've done street preaching many times, but this isn't how you do it. Don't make pointless arguments. Preach the gospel to those who need it. Well, well, that's quite funny because these are supposedly Christian events, right? So when we go to the Christian events, they always say, oh, we're Christians. We, we, we already have the gospel. We know the gospel. So then, so then what do you preach? Don't you preach to them the truth? Don't you preach to them things to open their eyes? And, and we see in the letters that Paul wrote. Did Paul always preach the gospel? No. He gave admonition. He gave exhortation. He gave correction. He gave rebuke. He gave reproofs. He gave you know, edification, you know, so on and so forth. He gave all these different things to help people grow and to help them see that, look, as Christians, we can't live a certain way. We can't walk according to the flesh, that we need to walk according to the spirit. That's what Paul did in his writings. He didn't always preach to them repentance and faith, which is the bare bones of, essential of the gospel repentance towards god and faith in our lord jesus christ but you won't hear these guys preach that yeah i do preach the gospel there math matthew dupree whatever your name is facts he was at passion i remember seeing him I yelled at him. You ever heard the song something after he flames the grave for only God can judge me? Oh, I flamed the grave for only God can judge me? Well, guess what? Oh, wow. Guess what? The Word of God says that we are called to judge. Tupac, Lecrae, they don't have... 
a book, a verse, a chapter in the Bible. There is no Bible scripture that says only God can judge me. Let's see. Kay Beasley says, God bless the protesting Pharisees. Wow. See? Pharisees. So it's... It <laughs> This is typical. This is typical. The real Pharisees are the ones who go by their own traditions instead of following the word of God. You see? This is the problem. When you call out wickedness, when you call out sin, you're labeled as a Pharisee. You're labeled as a legalist. Well, guess what? I would rather be considered a legalist than be lawless. Because the lawless ones are going to go to hell. It's that simple. I'm sorry, but you don't get a sugar-coated, uh, uh, fluffy pancake message over here. But see, that's what people like. My people love to have it so, it says in Jeremiah, right? They love having their ears tickled. And then, again, this is the typical spirit. You know, I, get, I, I see the worst reactions from so-called Christians. They have the worst mocking spirit. And that's why they need to be rebuked. Lord, rebuke this little effeminate sissy boy right here. Lord, rebuke you, Raul. About 85 pounds soaking wet. This person, I aspire to be on this level of petty. This person, he ain't won not one soul to Christ. Oh, really? You know that? You're Jesus? Okay. Legend. Delete this, bro. I pray for maturity for this young brother. So sad. <laughs> this guy, this guy right here is the one who needs to be mature while this guy sits here and has 116 as part of his name. And see, that's the thing with these Lecrae followers. These Lecrae followers are all about their 116. They get it tattooed on them. Even though the Bible, the Word of God, condemns getting tattoos. Now, I'm not saying you're going to go to hell because you got a tattoo. But when you're tattooing yourself, you're not walking according to the spirit. You're walking according to the flesh. And they're going to say, well, that was an Old Testament commandment. I've brought this up so many times. Leviticus 19.28. Lecrae, as a matter of fact, Lecrae will say, well, read Leviticus 19.27. Lecrae, why don't you read Leviticus 19.26? That forbids and condemns witchcraft. Lecrae. And, and all his followers, why don't you read Leviticus 19.29, which says, Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So I, I guess now you can prostitute your daughters is basically what you're saying. Because now you're saying that we can do tattoos. You're saying it's okay to get tattoos now. Just like you're saying, it's, so it's okay to prostitute your daughter, right? I mean, essentially that's what you're saying. This guy says, is, this, is that bad bunny? Sure looks like him, doesn't it? But yeah, so they all get 116. They all get 116 tattooed on them. I mean, seriously. <laughs> or they get scripture tattooed on them. Like, that makes, oh, wow. Oh, you know, this guy getting holy tattooed on him. Oh, well, that makes him holy. He, he got holy tattooed on him. He must be holy. It's ridiculous, man. It's disgusting. But anyway, so... Yeah, this is, this is, uh... Well, see, anything goes. Anything goes in this Christian, uh, uh, this Christian faith in America today. Well, see, anything goes. Any anything goes. Anything goes. I mean, like I was preaching out there, Super Bowl Sunday. How many churches are going to be partaking in this? How many pr pr churches are going to be partaking in this worldly filthy, disgusting, God-hating activity where it's not just a football game. It's everything. It's a huge ritual. It's an energy harvesting ritual. Imagine all the energy that's put forth into this by the people who are going to the game, by the people who are participating in the game, by all the people behind the scenes, by uh, the people who are watching the game, whether it's at home, at a bar, at a friend's house, at a church. You know, at, at, at a restaurant, whatever the case may be. You know, all the people getting dressed up for it, all the all the purchases being made. You know, people wearing jerseys, their their jerseys to church. You know, work whatever. You know, this this is what goes on. This is one of the biggest holidays in America, Super Bowl Sunday. 
and, and you're going to see it. I mean, it happens every year. But, you know, so this ain't going to be a long, drawn-out video, as I always say. But nonetheless, I stumbled across this, so I wanted to show it because it's just quite interesting, you know, the kind of response and the reception that's put out there by haters of the preaching of the Word of God. Did this guy actually sit and actually listen to what I said? And as a matter of fact, what up, RG? When I was preaching at the Lecrae concert, uh, what was that, back in 20, 2018, yeah, I think it was 2018. Yeah. When I was in Illinois, you guys were in Chicago. That's when the guy working for you guys, um, he, he cut his finger off. He lost the top of his finger, you know, moving, you know, like he was part of the guy, one of the one of the guys moving your guys' equipment around and whatnot. The guy lost the top of his finger. It's very sad and it was very disgusting too, you know. And I feel for the guy because that looked like it, yeah, yeah, I seen his finger just laying there on the ground, part of his finger. It was it was disgusting. But I remember talking to you, what up, RG? And I gave you a copy of the Lecrae documentary. <laughs> I can see you've only gotten worse since then. And th and that's the thing. These guys, they don't take this serious. They don't. They don't take life serious. They don't take this Christian walk serious. It's all a big joke to them. It's all a big game to them. It's all about likes and popularity on the internet. I mean, we see it right here. Look at all these people commenting on this, not knowing anything that's going on. They're letting this narcissist control the narrative in regards to what actually took place out there. Now, for you people who might see this video, if you want to see what was really preached out there, just go on my channel, Sword of Truth, and watch what was actually preached out there. And guess what? It was the whole truth and nothing but the truth. This weak, effeminate, lukewarm, so-called version of Christianity in America is going to be destroyed. Best believe that. It's time for real men to stand up. Look, at, I mean, you can't even take this guy serious. He's not a real man. I mean, look at, I mean, green, I mean, again, the word God says to judge righteous judgment, not a judge according to appearance, right? But the outside, when people do stuff like this to themselves, the outside manifests what's going on in the inside. The mocking spirit manifests what's going on in the inside. You see... And that's exactly what we see with this guy, what we see with Reach Records and Lecrae and them. I mean, this is common. This is common for Lecrae and his followers to be nothing but mockers and scoffers. Lecrae and most of his followers hate the word of God. They do. Lecrae will call himself so-called quoting a scripture on his Instagram page, but he won't say it was from the Bible. He'll put Jewish proverb. I, I kid you not. He'll put Jewish proverb. He's he's that ashamed to put, oh, this is Proverbs, you know, verses 19, 27 or something, whatever scripture it might have been. No, he'll put Jewish proverb to make it seem like he's not quoting the Bible. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Talk about being unashamed, right? I mean, but this, this is typical with these guys. This is typical with with. Lecrae and his team, man, I'm telling you, this is completely typical with these guys. They don't have a love for the truth. I'm not sure why it's not letting me see the most recent posts on, on Instagram for uh, for State Farm Arena, but look at that. I mean, a, a, a five-second clip. He says he's out here protesting Christian rap. I wasn't protesting Christian rap. I'm speaking the truth about it. I mean, I, I showed you guys this guy right here. I, I played a clip of this guy's whack music last night, right? This kid right here, Zonti. I guess he's yoked up with Lecrae and them now, right? Let's see what Zonti has to say. Oh, come on, man. Come on. All right. So this is his video. 
I'm gonna step off the camera for a second. What did you think? I'll take everything. Great. I'll bring you up in 40 minutes when we open again. Wake up happy. Shop sleep solutions at Bed Bath & Beyond. When they ask me how I did it, I say God taught me. When they ask me how I'm winning, I say God taught me. When they ask me why I'm different, I say God taught me. This my time to get it. God taught me. When they ask me how I did it, I say God taught me. When they ask me how I'm winning, I say God taught me. When they ask me why I'm different, I say God taught me. This my time to get it. God taught me. Never made a song that I do not like People always changing colors like a stoplight I'ma call you lefty cause I know you are not right If you thought I was done you should learn from Saint Nick and check twice Ask me how I got here I say God brought me Ask me who this power from is gone on me Every step I'm taking I know God God taught me when they ask me why I'm different. I say, God taught me this my time to get it. God taught me when they ask me how I did it. I say, God taught me when they ask me how I'm winning. I say, God taught me when they ask me why I'm different. I say, God taught me this my time to get it. And this. That's enough of that. And, and this is what's passing as worship music now. This is what's passing as worship music. He said God taught him. I guess God didn't teach him how to dress, though. I'm just saying. I mean, but th this is what's passing for, for, for Christianity in America today. This is what the youth has to look forward to. You know, and th and this is why this is why it's so important. Here he's going to do this right here. This is why it's so important that when you're coming up in the faith, the youth, they need to be trained properly. You know, you can't just, you know, and this is the problem. You know, everyone gets a mic, everyone gets a video camera, and they just come out and just start doing nonsense like this. You know, or, you know, you'll get somebody like Kanye who supposedly just gave his life to the Lord, right? You know, within the past, what, year or whatever. And instead of Kanye getting sat down in place, getting trained and, and, and filled with sound doctrine, you know, true doctrine. And, you know, getting purged, getting cleansed. And we got all these churches and, and conferences in, in the so-called Christian circles having this guy come and basically uh, serenade and, and, and give you his version of the gospel to, you know, thousands and millions of people. But, you know, this is... Oy vey, this is what you got going on in the Christian circles today. Um, and it's it's really sad, friends. You know, and, and seeing seeing like these comments, these young people are leaving. Look, I get it; they're young, but seeing you know, and I was young at one time. You know, I used to listen to the the Christian Christian rap music. You know, I used to listen to rap music in general. And one thing I can honestly say with a pure conscience is it's filled with nothing but pride. Nothing but pride. These these Christian rappers, you can't tell them anything. They don't take correction. They act like they're just, you know, the the uh, 
the quintessential to Christian music. They try to be cool and trendy, but it, it's it's not the truth, and it's not. It, you know, there's nothing. I mean, it, I'm sorry, man. I'm just I'm just at a loss for words because of how pathetic it is. And that this is what people like even, you know, people like Paul Washer, you know, I'm, and I'm just going to name names. I'm not saying I am. A, I endorse these people, um, but these are people who are respected in the, in the Christian circles. You know, people like Paul Washer, John Piper, you know, John MacArthur. You have these people signing off on this stuff instead of rebuking it. I mean, it's sad. I mean, here, here's one by this guy, by What Up RG. You know, almost, almost a million views. And this, and like I said, this is what's passing as as worship music now, Christian music. You know, and, and that's the thing. Again, as I've I've stated over and over again on this channel, over and over again when I'm out preaching, you know, the music music is supposed to be to worship and praise and glorify and honor our Lord. All of this, I mean. <laughs> All of this. You see, you got the Reach Records logo right here. I mean, all of this. This is what we have out here today. This is what's passing off. This is what's passing off as, as Christian music. This is what's passing off. It's really saddening, friends. You know, like I was preaching out there last night, you're living in, you're seeing the great apostasy, the falling away right before our eyes. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. So this is what compels me to go out there in the streets and preach the truth like I do. Got the checkerboard floor, you know, he's drunk. This is what compels me to go out there. Because, you know, this kid can mock, but he's a soul and he needs the truth. He needs to repent and be born again. And, you know, you know, bad company corrupts good morals, so to speak. I know I'm totally paraphrasing that scripture, but... And it's true. It's really true. It really does. You know, being around some of the people. Being around some of these people that like people like Lecrae and, and them, they follow after. See, look at that. Lecrae does not show up. His, his does not show up because he has me blocked. 
I'd have to be, I guess, signed out for you guys to see it. Let me see if I can pull it up. There's got to be a way. Let's see. Because, that again, as I, I've said over and over again on this channel, one thing I like to do, I like to prove. I like to prove um, the things that I say on here. And, and I always do that. I always show the proof. I always show, like, hey, this is what's, this is what's really going on. Let's see. I might have to turn my camera off for a second. Okay. All right, I'm back again. Now, here's Lecrae's Instagram. And he's constantly um, updating it, changing it, removing pics and whatnot. Considering the fact he's been called out a lot. You know, and all you got to do, you know, people on their Instagram, it tells a lot about them. So all you got to do is go by that, you know, see what people are posting. It says a lot about them. But here's something I wanted to share right quick. So here's Lecrae with Monica. Oh, Eric, what's the big deal? He's with Monica. Well, I guess the big deal is that he's uh, with what he calls friends and family at the Rock Nation brunch. Oy vey. So, Rock Nation. Oops, sorry about that. Rock Nation. Rock Nation. Who is Rock Nation? Who is Rock Nation? Rock Nation is a full service management music publishing and entertainment company founded by Jay-Z. So, Lecrae is invited to the Rock Nation Jay-Z brunch. I knew it was only a matter of time. And I mentioned this while I was out there last night at the Winter Jam concert. It's only a matter of time. He's signed to the same record label as Beyonce Lecrae is. So it was only a matter of time. Oh, snap. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wow, that's that's the kind of stuff Rock Nation promotes. That's, wow, I'm sorry. I did not know that was going to be there. So, ah. All right. But, yeah, I mean, there, you know, What's that one song uh, Jay Z has? Then they say something like, "What more can I say? What more can I say? What more can I say?" I mean, at this point, what more can I say? Now, anybody who knows anything about all Jay Z and all that, you know, Freemason, uh, you know, he even had a song called Freemason. Uh, you know, Lucifer, Lucifer, Light of the Morning. You know, has that song. You know, Murder, Murder, Jesus. You know, he has that where it says six, 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 Murder, Murder, Jesus. You know, all of his blasphemy, all of his blasphemy. But Lecrae is being invited to a Rock Nation brunch. <sighs> what more can I say? And the fan, and the fans, and the, and they yuck it up. They chuck it up. I mean, this is what it's become. This is what it's become. Oh, one more. Actually, you know, one more. Let me, uh, let's see if I can find it here. Because Lecrae follows Trey Young. You know, he's friends with him or whatever. Well, oh, come on, man. No, not right now. I don't want to, no. No. Fine, whatever. I guess I'll continue his sort of truth. I don't think Trey Young has me blocked. <laughs> oh, 
but let's see. And for the women who might see this video, I'm going to give you a heads up warning. I apologize. He's in this picture. He doesn't have a shirt on. So if you want to just close your eyes or whatever, yeah, I'm very, very sorry. So just a heads up. Okay. I'm going to try to scroll down. So you ain't got to look at this man's bare chest if at all possible. It's not letting me, but anyways, uh, I don't know if I can find the comment. Oh, because I'm signed in. So you're not going to see it. But anyways, He's got, let me get out of here. He's got 1 Corinthians 15, 10 tatted on him. And Lecrae, because I'm signed in so you can't see it because I'm blocked. Lecrae, you know, was basically encouraging him, you know, and, and with his whole getting a tattoo. And, of course, that started a thread. That started a thread um, where, obviously, people were having a discussion about tattoos, as I mentioned earlier. So... If you're on Instagram, you can look it up for yourself because you're probably not blocked by Lecrae like I am. So, anyways, that's all I really got. I just wanted to show that, you know, it's funny with these mockers and scoffers out here. That's something that I, I talked about when I was out there preaching last night. It shows how mature they are. You know, we had that mo this mother last night mocking me, and then her daughter was doing the same thing. And then the daughter, her, her Jezebel spirit riled up, and she lied on video accusing me of calling her a slut and I never did such liars and then they wouldn't repent and, and praise God uh, this one was one girl named Sierra she was pregnant God bless her you know she called herself trying to correct me and I asked her you know where's your husband and oh, all that oh, that got everybody riled up when I said that and you know what after all of that she came up to me at the very end and she repented and she apologized and she said she was wrong for what she did. And, and she talked to me and asked to hear my testimony. And I gave it to her, you know. I started giving it to her. And, you know, that's that's what it's about, you know. That's what it's about is, is, is you know, and I, and I told her, you know. I told her, what you know, what the deal is with these lukewarm churches, these lukewarm Christians, you know, leading people to hell. You know, and, and she was hearing what I had to say in those regards. You know, and then again, just looking at the reaction, you know, looking at the reaction um, that I was getting from the crowd, you know, and how they were mocking and everything. You know, the, the, this shows you, this shows you the spirit that most professing, because again, they're professing. Jesus says they, they confess me with their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. He says they'll, they'll profess to me in that day, Lord, Lord. You know, and he'll say, you know, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So many people are, are professing Christ. Many people claim to be Christians. You know, but even like the even like the devils, you know, who leap, you know, on the seven, seven sons of Sceva, you know, they said, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are you, you know? <laughs> so that, that tells you something. That really tells you something, that a lot of people walking around claiming to be Christian but have no authority, they have no power. You know, I'm, you know, and I don't need to defend myself, but it just shows you that this is what, this is what professing Christians think. You know, this is what they think of, of somebody out there preaching the whole truth. You know, somebody had responded Somebody responded to my comment on here just a little bit ago, and they said that I that the, that the, that I wasn't preaching well because it was me. They don't they they may not know momentarily that it was me, but they basically said I wasn't preaching at all. Yes, I was. You you took a you, one first and foremost. You took a two second clip and ran with it. But any of you who obviously watch this channel know exactly what I was preaching. And you know that we go out there and we preach the gospel all the time. You know, it's it's sad though. It's sad though. People just take what Lecrae says. They take what what up RG says. They take what any other personality cult leaders say, and, and they don't investigate anything themselves. This is the vast majority. This is why it says, when the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall in the ditch. This is why Jesus likens people, you know, he likens us on the sheep. Because some 
because some people truly are sheep to the extent where they're so dumb they just follow and listen to what anybody says they don't investigate and they don't compare it with the word of god so anyways that's it i love you guys god bless you all in jesus name have a wonderful day amen